throws it for Christopher, and it is knocked away, and the ball game is over. And the Aggies celebrate their first win in 15 years over the Utah Utes. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Utah State. He snapped the ball high. It's a run by Holly, and the Aggies stop him. The Aggies stop him and win the game in overtime. And the Aggies are going to be WAC champions. They win it in overtime. season for the Utah State Aggies and with the win today the Aggies clinched their first outright league title in 76 years. And Davis waits and throws it for Lalo, picked off Willie Davis, can he keep his feet? Yes and then he'll score! He kept his feet five games in a row and he scores the touchdown for Utah State. Ten wins for Utah State, a record setting year of Aggie football we've never seen it before. Never before, coming off its first bowl appearance in 14 years, Utah State football had high expectations heading into this 2012 season, but what transpired throughout the year will go down as one of the greatest seasons in school history, as this group of men accomplished a laundry list of things that had never happened before in 115 seasons of Aggie football. With two home games to start the 2012 campaign, including one against in-state rival Utah, a fast start was needed to achieve the goals set during the winter workouts. And a fast start is just what Aggie fans got as USU began the season with a 34-3 win against Southern Utah, followed by a 27-20 overtime win against the Utes in a nationally televised game on ESPN2 and in front of a sold-out crowd at Merlin Olson Field at Romney Stadium. Williams, touchdown, Utah State. Hayes to the end zone. Utah State wins. Incomplete on fourth and goal, and the Aggies celebrate their first win in 15 years over the Utah Utes. Utah State added two more victories during the month of September against future Mountain West opponents with a 31-19 win at Colorado State and a 35-13 homecoming win against UNLV in front of another sold-out Romney Stadium crowd. With a 4-2 and two record, Utah State entered Western Athletic Conference play with a road game at bowl-bound San Jose State and came away with a resounding 49-27 win as USU amassed 485 yards of total offense, including 212 yards on the ground. Utah State's defense also made its mark in the contest as it sacked the Spartans quarterback a school record 13 times. Utah State continued running up the score during its next two WAC games with a 41-7 home win against New Mexico State and a 48-17 road win at UTSA before beginning the month of November with a 38-7 home win against Texas State in another WAC outing. With an 8-2 record, including a perfect 4-0 conference mark, Utah State traveled to Ruston, Louisiana for its toughest test of the season against nationally ranked Louisiana Tech, who entered the game with a 9-1 record and the nation's highest scoring offense at over 50 points per game. As it had done all season long, Utah State was up to the challenge as it produced a season-high 646 yards of total offense, including 86 on its first offensive play of the game to score a touchdown. Sophomore quarterback Chucky Keaton entered the game with a school record tying 121 rushing yards by a quarterback, 
and threw for 340 yards. Holly in the backfield, Patton split bottom of the screen, handoff Holly straight ahead, it's not gonna get, get it done, and the Aggies are gonna be WAC champions. They win it in overtime. Following its first ever road win against a ranked opponent, Utah State entered the national rankings at number 25 in the Associated Press poll and returned home to host WAC foe Idaho in its season finale, while at the same time honoring 17 seniors, who by season's end would rank as the winningest class in school history along with the 1962 USU team. Being nationally ranked for the first time since 1978, Utah State did not disappoint its home crowd as it dismantled the Vandals 45 to nine as USU's defense recorded three interceptions, including one returned 59 yards for a touchdown by senior cornerback, Will Davis. Play action now for Davis, and it's an intercepted. It's picked off, jumping the route, Will Davis, he's gone. Davis to the house, 20 to nothing, Aggies. Following its win against the Vandals, Utah State celebrated its WAC championship on the field with Aggie fans and then accepted an invitation to play in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl for the second straight year, marking the third time in school history that USU has played in consecutive bowl games. With the win against Idaho, Utah State won 10 games in a single season for the first time in school history and ended WAC play with a perfect 6-0 record to mark its first outright conference championship since 1936 and its 11th league title all time. Utah State also won six home games for the first time in school history, while its 6-0 conference mark was also a first in school history. Utah State began its quest for a bowl win and the 11th victory of the season with a bus ride from Logan to Boise five days prior to its famous Idaho Potato Bowl matchup with Toledo. During its week in Boise, Utah State coaches and players spent plenty of time practicing and meeting in preparation for the game. Along with the work came play as USU also took time to enjoy the bowl experience with a bowling event, gift suite, racing go-karts, spending time at a children's hospital, and mingling with Aggie fans at a pep rally. We couldn't do all this without you guys. Uh, Aggie Nation is loud and we're proud. You know, it's going to be great to just walk out and see all you guys there, man. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that. We love you. Go Aggies all day, baby. Aggie players also had time to hang out together at the team hotel during team meals and in the players' lounge. With a 10-2 and record and a number 18 national ranking, Utah State ended its 2012 season in grand fashion with a 41 to 15 trouncing of Toledo in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl to win its second bowl game in school history. USU is led by bowl game MVP Kerwin Williams, who rushed for a career high 235 yards, including 198 yards in the fourth quarter alone, as he had touchdown runs of 63, five, and 25 yards. Kerwin Williams might be able to do both in one fell swoop, and he will take it the distance. A 63-yard sprint for Williams. At season's end, the 2012 Utah State football team accomplished everything it set out to do, and even more, as it finished the year with a school record 11 wins and was ranked 16th nationally marking the third time in school history that has happened. Having won 16 of its last 19 games, including 11 straight in conference play, eight straight at home, and six straight on the road, Utah State football has laid the foundation for a consistent winner through dedication and hard work, a foundation that was built the Aggie way.